Hello everyone, how are we doing today? So today's workout, you're gonna need some of these. Tins of beans, or you can use dumbbells. It's entirely up to you, however you feel comfortable doing it. But remember, tins of beans aren't that, well, dookie beans, and uh, mixed salad beans. Not baked beans, not Heinz. Remember that um, tins of beans aren't that heavy. You know, you need to get heavy really. So I would highly recommend that you do buy some dumbbells. If you do want, you know, help on buying dumbbells, etc., always put a comment below and I can put a link in there for you for some dumbbells. They're not the cheapest at the moment. However, they will help with your fitness and health whilst inside. So definitely get some. We're gonna do a ladder today. So the idea of the ladder is, we're gonna start with a set amount of reps and we're gonna gradually go down. So as the work goes on, the reps get less. So we've got something to look forward towards, all right? So we're gonna work ourselves all the way down from one number down to the bottom. Okay, let's get warmed up. So we've got my trusty beans on the side. Remember, as always, these workouts can be done completely sat in the chair. If you're unsure when you're sat in your chair like this and you can't do an exercise, for example, I say, oh, I'm going to go back to the leg stretch. You know you can't do it in the chair. Just opt to just step it out like that, all right? You can always do everything just sat down in the chair. You can do your arms, you can do your feet out to the side. But any time you're unsure, let's press up against the wall and you suddenly think to yourself, well, I can't do that because I can't get out of the chair. You're at a low level of mobility, not a problem at all. You could just do pushes. Just try and replicate the same exercise. I'll do my best to give you alternatives, but if I do forget, just go back to the trusty marching out. Now, we're gonna get warmed up. So for the warm up, we're gonna do 30 seconds of each exercise. So 30 seconds of marching, like so. Get the arms going. However, if you want to, what you can do is break it into a slight like jog here. Good, and then we're gonna go for 30 seconds of bum kickers. So remember, you can use a mantle piece if you need to. I'm gonna use that, I'm just gonna flick my heels up, get those thighs loosened off. Good, there we go. Right, we're gonna do 30 seconds of knee bends. So remember, you can use a chair if you need to, so you can sit to stand in the chair, or you can do normal squats. I'm gonna use a chair today, so you're gonna sit back into the chair, and back up, which is gonna warm that whole body up. Remember, like I said, if you can't do an exercise, adapt it. So if you sat in the chair, you can literally just do marching out with your feet. There we go, and then all we're gonna do is 30 seconds of stepping backwards. So three, two, one, we're just gonna step backwards, like so. Now, let's just get us warmed up. So we can incorporate our arms into this, we can push our arms out in front of us. Again, if your balance isn't great, you can hold onto the side. Make sure you look after your balance. And let's go back to 30 seconds of marching on spot. Remember, this is just a warm up. If you find this a bit tough, a bit challenging, bring it down to a light march instead. Or you can really start to get yourself going into it, all right? So just see how you feel. Good, there we are. Right, let's go to our bum kickers. Remember, you can hold on if you need to. Three, two, one, and we're off.
Spot on. Right, let's go cross and stand for another 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and we're in and we're down. So again, if you feel like the pace is a bit too much for you, you can just do some little bends. You don't have to come all the way down to the chair. You can just do some little squats instead. We're just getting our body warmed up. Amazing exercise, these squats. They're so good for your lower body, okay? What we're gonna do, really work on strengthening your thighs, which is so important because they're gonna look after your knees. And knees are what we need. Knees help us move. And the less pain we get on the knees, the more we wanna move. Let's go for our backward steps. Three, two, one, and let's go. up what we're going to do is go into our workout so our workout's going to be the ladder we're going to do 10 reps and we're going to gradually work our way down so we're going to do 10 reps for each exercise nine reps for each exercise eight reps for each exercise all the way down to one rep now if you can't keep up with the reps or there's an exercise you can't do we can always do an alternative so if you felt for example we were doing 10 squats and you felt like 10 squats was too much and i've done 10 you're only on five do not panic literally just move on to the next exercise if there's an exercise you can't do, always just go back to either seated marching or standing marching until we move on to the exercise you can do. First exercise we're going to do, we need our trusty tins of beans, and all we're going to do is we're going to do 10 reps of lateral raises. After we've done 10 reps of lateral raises, we're going to do what's called a burpee. Now, it might sound scary, but don't panic. We're going to use a chair for this, and we're literally either going to step out, step in, stand up. That's one rep, okay? Build up 10 reps. If you want to, you can jump out and jump in and stand up, okay? 10 reps of that. If you're feeling ultra confident, however, make sure if you do have medical conditions, you do not do this exercise. This one I'm gonna show you now. If, for example, you don't have any medical issues, you just get into exercise and you feel like you wanna challenge yourself, that's great. If you've got medical conditions or an injury, I don't recommend this, okay? So do listen to your body. You can do your burpee, which is then you step out and you step in. And that makes it a little harder to do on the floor rather than chair. But as I did say, listen to your body. The next one's going to be your knee bend or your squats. So, nice and upright, and you're just going to squat down. However low you go down, it's completely your choice. You might just want to half bend it, you might want to quarter bend it, you might want to sit back into the chair. That'll be your exercise number three. So remember, we've got the lateral raises, we've got the burpees, we've got the squats, and then to finish off with, we've got the press-ups. So the press-ups we're going to do against the mantelpiece, like so. All right, if you wanted to, you can make that harder by doing them against a windowsill instead. So I've got a trusty windowsill over here. Just about to see me, I need the windowsill. That makes it a lot harder to the presser. The lower down the light you're pressing against, the harder it's going to be. The higher up, the easier it's going to be. Right, we're literally going to work through without any breaks at all. If at any point you need a drinks break, that is absolutely fine. Stop, have a rest, and then catch back up with the workout. So in three, two, one, let's go. So 10 reps of lateral raises. Get those arms up and down. To make this workout harder, remember, something heavier in the arms. Six, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Right, let's do our third piece. So we're gonna step out, step in. One. So remember, you're sat in the chair, you could just do your march at this point, you don't need to get up and out of the chair. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to sit the stands down. If you're sat in the chair, you can do your own turn up, arm and leg. We're going to do ten repetitions. Six, seven, 
eight, nine, and ten. There we have it. Right, our next one is our press ups. We're going for our ten. So you have that one, please. We're just going for ten repetitions. And ten. So we've done ten of everything. Now we're going to do nine. So we're going to grab all those tins of beans and we go back for it again. Out we go. One. Two. Three. Eight. And nine. Into our burpees. If you can jump out or you can step out. So remember, if you're going to jump out, jump out, jump in. That's one. Jump out, jump in, that's two. If you want to do step ups, that's fine. Jump in, that's three. That's four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. That was an extra one. It's supposed to be nine. Right. From that, let's go for our sit to stands. Nine repetitions. Into our press ups. So you may find some of these exercises a little bit too much, or you may find the workout a little bit too challenging. Just work at the reps that feel good for you, okay? And you can always revisit this workout and try and build up the reps slowly. Remember the biggest thing we spoke about that's number six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's go through eight reps of a thing. Basically, what we spoke about was RPE. It's how hard you feel you're working. Make sure your body isn't going over a seven or an eight, okay? So you wanna be out a six to a seven. What that means is your heart rate's going, you're red in the face. Seven and eight. You're puffing and panting, but you can always hold a conversation like I am now. If at any point you can't hold a conversation, it means that you're doing too much. You need to slow it down, you need to have a break. Three. Four, remember you can do jump outs. Five, six, seven, and eight. Let's go for our sit stands. Down we go. And that's all right. Then we go to the chair, over to the wall, and we do eight press ups. And that's number eight. Right, sevens. Get those tins of beans. Up we go. Seven, good work. Right, let's go for our burpees. I'm gonna do jump out ones. Remember, if you haven't got great knees, don't do the jump out. And there we go for seven. Let's go for our sit stands. And we're good at them. And 
seven. Press up as we go. Shoulders back and down, and we go. Six and seven. Six reps of everything. Slowly, we're getting down there, okay? This is the easier bit. One, two, if you need to stop and have a drink, you can at any time. Three, four, five, and six. Good work. Into our burpees. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Into our sit stands. Three, four, five, six. Let's go on our press ups. Get the shoulders back and chest nice and proud. Six. Okay, five is what I think. It's when it starts to get a little bit easier now. So up and down. One, two. Stick with me, you're doing amazing, everyone, okay? Up and down, you're doing great. Five, perfect. Into our five burpees. Remember, if you couldn't manage your burpees, you don't need to worry, you can just do the march on the spot, or you can just march to the chair. Three, four, and that's number five. Right, let's go for our sit stands. We're on the go, and let's go. Two, three, four. That's number five. Press ups. Three, four, and five. Okay, right, forwards are a thing. We're getting there, up and down. The end is near, don't panic. Three, and four, this is the nice bit. Take a breather if you need to. If you want to keep going, keep going with me. Good, two, three, four, there we go. Sit the stands, up we go. One, two, three, and four. Onto our press ups. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Freeze your think. We need you there. Up and down, one, two, and number three, three burpees, one, two, three, spot on, right, sit down, let's go, one, two, and three, press ups, Three, two to everything. We are so close. One, two, burpee. One, two, sit the stands. Two press ups. And now guess what? One of everything. One nut raise. One. One burpee. One. One squat. One. One press up. One. And then we're up there. Give you a round of applause. That was tough. Started off feeling like it wasn't ever going to end. 
And when you're down to the bottom, you always feel good afterwards. So remember, let's have a nice little march on the spot. Start by taking our shoulders backwards. Well done everyone for joining the workout. I hope you got the whole way through it. As always, make sure you let us know how you get on with commenting below. And if you did like the workout, then let us know, all right? If you found it a bit too challenging or you found the exercise too tough, again, let us know. We'll be interested to know your feedback. Let's go chest stretch. Now we're taking a back stretch. And then we take the right arm across the body, we're taking a shoulder stretch. So everyone has a good day today. Weather's looking lovely. Make sure you get the most of it, okay? If you're self-isolating, then it's definitely stay indoors. Unless you've obviously got a garden area or like a balcony. <clears throat> Make sure you get some sun. Natural sunlight is amazing for your body. <coughs> and change arms. If you are self isolating remember, marching on the spot, as we're doing now, is a great form of exercise. You can do that whilst you're watching your favorite TV program so you get plenty of steps in. There really is no excuse not to get your steps in. Back of the arm stretch. And change arms. <coughs> When you're ready, nice wide starts, toes facing forwards, and you're going to bend your right knee and you lean across to the right hand side. And when you're ready, you're going to change sides. Good. Let's go for the back of the thigh stretch. And change legs. And our last stretch will be the front of the thigh stretch. Remember, like so, if that's too much. You can place your knee on the chair and you can do front of the thigh stretch like that. If you do get cramped, just go for your bum flickers, just flick your heels up. All right? Change legs. Hold on to something if you need to, if you balance. And when you're ready, we're going to finish off our nice big deep breaths in. Deep breath in. And nice big breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Last one. Nice deep breath in. And nice big deep breath out. Give yourself a round of applause.